spend on getting yeah. sexy for it. It's got Keith, is honest. Keith Stone a Robin player with an older tag? No, that's uh, oh, that's that's what you're thinking of. Different Robin entirely. Okay. Uh, uh, Kisu is ranked in Oregon. Uh, I'm pretty sure ten. Absolutely crap. crap so Robin. Keystone's a different person. Keystone's a Keystone's a different person. Is Kisu. K I S U. K I S U is Kisu. Oh, so this is Kisu versus Gwen. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, this is a fun matchup in that Robin just kind of struggles with the things that Politan excels at. <laughs> and that is the correct one. Thorin. <laughs> Thorin with a lot of ease. Triple E. I like it. I yeah. like it. But right now, um, really, Kisu is struggling on gaining on this very, very honest, honest character. Um, and as we talk... <laughs> I didn't say honest character! <laughs> he, most honest character in the game. I even talked to Luis, he was like, he's like, yeah, no, this character is basically Mario. <laughs> yeah. But at the final third of the stage is not where you want to be against Palutena. It allows her to play her, her best facet of her gameplay, which is ledge trapping. This character is arguably a top five ledge trapper, and Kisu had no resources left. Where did her potions go? Where did the magic happen? Kisu needs to drink some more, like, like... Beat some drink. more milk. Absolutely needs to drink, like, 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 Kisu needs some drink right now, because, like, oh my god, <laughs> not having those resources is diabolical. Getting that Levin Sword back or not killing yet. Love um, the ledge trump. Love to see that cop out. Excellent anti-air there, too. And he says, reach for the skies. Quinn ain't going to survive that one. Saying you straight up into the cosmos. My goodness, what a big sword going straight up there. Send him straight into the solar system. But again, yeah. that, those up airs are really catching everything about um, Robin. Because Robin really has some really, really garbo, bad, shitty. Like, like, <laughs> air mobility. bad air yeah. mobility. Like, like if you jump up, you're not going to move, dog. I'll try to get the cross up to work there and then try to go for another delayed aerial, but Quinn absolutely played that one right there, right in the face. The ledge trapping, able to navigate past the back air. Not getting much off of that, but trying to use that 11 so to get a little bit more, but that explosive flame um, sending him straight up into the sky. Not much to kill, because right now we're at mid percentage right now. Um, let's see which one blinks first. Trying to get a little bit has, more. Had a chance there for Kisu, kind of got out of his hands. Quinn putting his own, putting his own mitts all over Kisu right there getting the grab. I was F tilting the wrong direction. That must have been a miss input. No more 11 sword for a little bit. So you got to rely on on, on a basic Rob throws it. And that will not happen. That I supposed to flame send him straight up into the sun. The sun goes down there and the sun comes back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that, that sun set on Kisu's second stock. Ah. Got <laughs> to be careful right now, though. You're trying to get back into this one. And one of the things that Polos are really good at is just holding on to their leads. Just sitting on it. Oh, that back air and the explosive flame. That's not true. That's stop. not true. Confirmed. That's a hell of a read there by yeah, Quinn. Yeah. Oh my gosh! He tried to absolutely end it all there on on game one. Trying to get that out. second stock. Not Ooh. getting much there yet for Quinn. Oh, oh really good call out with the uh, uh, or, uh, excellent with counter. excellent counter and the down B. Not yeah. to work out. He shielded through the barrage of jabs and down smash like a like a goddess judgment. To end it all here in game one. And just like that, Quinn looking very convincingly at those last two stocks again. Kisu did have that, like, comeback stock. was like, okay, I gotta get back to Steven. And he does. But then Quinn goes back, he says, mm, good job, I'm taking the reins. Oh, no, totally. I mean, it was back and forth until Quinn decided it, it wasn't gonna be a game anymore. <laughs> yeah, 100%. But we are going into game two right now. Quinn is up one. This is a terrible, terrible matchup, in my opinion, because really, like, that air mobility really does damage, you know? And like, like with with Robin, you're really highly reliant on uh, um, delayed aerials to land in Paula's space. And if Paula is comfortable enough, just rising near all the time, like, it makes your job so much more difficult. So much more difficult for sure. Gets a little bit of that nair action. Um, like, like, uh, he's just having a hard time doing much. But as I said, using a little bit of 11 sword action. And the counter punching there, too. They talk about how Palutena has few reversal tools. At low percent, every character has tools. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like literally, there's a lot of Bob the Builder, you know, like characters. That, um, <laughs> getting that side be playing a little bit more damage is Kisu. Um, try to yeah. use your spells to basically like make. Oh, getting that. He used Nair. the extent. He used the late hit on Nair to extend that stream. That was so smart by Kisu. But now he's trying to light up Quinn with all these uh, you know, uh, arc thunders. But now just like that, Kisu does not have a Levin Sword. That Levin Sword, Robin kind, it kind of becomes a Blue Jay. You know, it doesn't really like 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 have all that kill power that it should have. Ooh. But just like that, grabbing that Levin Sword straight back and sending him straight to the blast zone. Yeah, My brought goodness. the hammer down that one using the Osprey to try to regain some health, but he's not dead. Cooked. 
by the explosive flame. Teleport cancels here. Quinn trying to put on a show, but it doesn't strike while the iron's hot. Whiffing on the up smash, Pillar of Pain. Nevertheless, Key 2 forced back off ledge. Did you drag down there? And not enough. And just like that, that drag down there will drag him straight down in the blast zone. Really, really fun times going on right here. Um, Ooh, big little clash little. here. It still gives Keith a horrible position. No up air for Quinn not to get a reward from it. He's going to get touched by down still a little bit. Ooh. Good patience there by Kisu. That 11 sword just sticks around, really staying in there. If you throw it out, it's just going to like like stay there, and, and it just stays like a kill off. So my goodness, using those spells to try to keep him off and try to keep set control, not working, but getting a little bit more with those. And getting that back here with that 11 sword. 11 sword is doing some damage. My yeah. goodness. It, that's just so ripped up. My goodness. And Kisu's definitely revved up here, starting to get warmed up. The engine's going. It has to go up top, and oh, man. So recovery high with Robin just feels like a prayer sometimes. Yeah. Down throw, back air, out deep. Quinn, word off from ledge, and there we go. And Kisu had, to, Kisu had to like bail out of the plane like that to get back on, uh, on a stage. It didn't quite work out. 100%. You went too high, and you're going straight, straight up into the blast zone again. And, and, yeah, TC right now is racking some frequent flyer miles on Politan and Nair lines. It's not where you want to be. You don't want a one-way ticket on that. You really do not right here. Ooh, that was almost very, very clutch. With that and the, the invulnerable shield passing through the L-Thunder. Right, Thank God real. that, that <laughs> Apollo has that. Like, uh, <laughs> what Apollo could she do without that? it? Oh, yeah. did he get the delay back there? Is it Kisu has a chance? We could be getting ourselves a game three if Kisu could put it on lock. and to confirm. Bet an all on black on that down smash didn't quite work out. And that down smash is a very, very powerful down smash. If you can hand that at almost any percentage of doing a lot, that 11 sort of almost Ooh. coming in very, very Getting the grab. Not doing much right there, trying to get a this little bit This could be Kisu's chance, Cal. It could be, it really could be. Yeah. Just like that, the 11 sword going straight through your throat. You're going flying, big dog. Off the top rope with a plum. Kisu bring us to a game three between these two. It's and okay, we'll get the store fixed in a minute. And <laughs> there we go. One. There you go. <laughs> and just like that, we're going back to PS2. Um, actually, like, like we're going back to it, and we started on it. So, oh, like, hold up. No? Are we, are we going to a different stage? I think there's DSR, so. Oh, I can't go back. Yeah. yeah. Is it full DSR or is it MDSR? Ah. Uh, nah, I <laughs> don't <man>. know. <laughs> I should know. I know, I know. I yeah, you know, we're both from Oregon. Uh, so, yeah, you should know, yeah. Uh, nevertheless, going to town for game three. This will be fun. This does give Kisu a chance to like build up and play more of like the charge shot game if Thorn wants to do it, but Thorn's really not he's not about that. Not really, because really Polly can call it out pretty pretty quickly uh, um, with their down B counter. Um, and Robin is having a really tough time. So this is not this where you stage. want to be. It's the wrong part of the neighborhood of town and city. It's the part of the town that uh, say you know, it, they, they, say they, it, they neglected. Say it. Say it. <laughs> oh, they neglected. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the ghetto. <laughs> uh, they, it's the ghetto, yeah. Fun little oh. place right there. Wow, a that was a smart puddles. spot dodge there to avoid arc fire. A lot of middle low level players will like struggle with how to deal with arc fire, but... Those are those are options available to any character, baby. But Quinn has been doing a really good job of of of, of as you say, um, dealing with those arc fires. Like really not letting those really do the work that it really does, because that is a lot of damage on your shield. That has a lot of time to follow up. Like like it just does so much. It just Woo! did that nice little flame. Taking the first stock, very very convincingly in a pretty good lead. Yeah, now just got a touch of the heat there, and that's all she wrote. All she wrote right there. But again, did Kisu leave the oven on? As we see right there, this house is about to explode with all the fire that's coming out there. My goodness, call a firefighter. Oh, no. Just like that, Kisu has and fallen Qu down the stairs. Call life alert right there. <laughs> Quinn, I was shaking his head. I have to think that he might have been uh, he might have been caught just input delay and wasn't able to teleport back to ledge. Very He's possible. the Arc Thunder. He's got to be careful. He can't let a mistake like that cloud his judgment. And because uh, a player of Kisu's level is one you have to take seriously. I will never ever take a Robin seriously at all. Why would you play this character? But we take anything okay. seriously? No, <laughs> no, never. Nothing serious here. I'll be all. a child forever. We are Quinn. playing a family video game right now. <laughs> just remember that right now. If you shout me out on Twitter, you know. And, and you Quinn know. is just juggling Kisu with all the child white, childlike wonder of a professional juggler. <laughs> nevertheless, <laughs> the drag down there misses the drag down aspect, but goes for the up tilt. Nevertheless, it popped Kisu up, but he's still thriving, still surviving. 
almost getting that explosive flame right there. That would have been it. But again, uh, like like he said, anything touched by Palu is a very very <gasps> fourth throw, no jump too. Gotta be careful. Gotta be very careful right here. Getting that oh, level sword man. back straight up in time has a whole stock lead to begin. You are at 143%. And we're he hearing the crowd pop off too. Last off situation for Quinn Ruby. trying to do it for SoCal, but he's getting punctured there by the jab, the multi-hit jab. It doesn't use up some of Robin's resources, but it's definitely a wise move in certain situations. I don't know, Quinn, you need to get back into this this crowd scream, Kisu's name. Really trying to get that win for Oregon. Oregon really needs it, and just like that, that, that stack will take it straight off the top right there. Last stock situation right here for this Robin. Quinn really trying to get those nair loops, but nothing coming. Levin Sword smacking him straight in the face. Kisu doing a really good job just jamming up Quinn's attempts to just get back in there with nair. Quinn wants to scrap, and Kisu's doing a good job of just keeping him at bay, but nevertheless, Quinn getting in, getting a barrage of up airs. You gotta be figuring out a way to land if you're Kisu. You can't keep this up. It's very hard to oh. play this honest character. This honest character is going on a roll, but again, getting back to stage right there. The percentage is very, very tied up. One of those things where like Quinn got a lot of percentage. Oh, almost getting that up air right there. He got the trailing hit of up air that kept the combo going. Nevertheless, it falls victim to the back air. This is Quinn's chance to win it here. Misses the down air, down tail. And just like that, that Levin Sword is coming into play. Oh, oh, trying to get that. Trying to get that call out with that down smash. Not getting much right there. But then you are in a bad position. That back air will take it. And just like that, Quinn takes the set in a 2-1 victory. Very, very close set right there. Kisu gambled it all on Quinn land. It was a 50-50 on where Quinn was going to land. Yeah. It